Hello everyone, how's it going? It is me Jack here and welcome to a bit of a different video on the JCR YouTube channel. Um, this is F1 2013 and we are driving this Jensen Button at the Monaco Grand Prix starting at the back. Uh, when this video goes up, it, the real life Grand Prix probably has already happened. But the reason I'm uploading this because I want to see whether or not we could maybe upload more 2013 videos onto the channel. Um, unfortunately, you would have seen with the 2012 series, it stopped after a few weeks. And that was just due to the save profile crashing. So I'm really, really hoping that this doesn't happen to this one either. But the only way we can test it is by doing a few races to see whether or not I can get up to speed. Hamilton's on pole position. He's not for the real life Grand Prix as I record this. Verstappen's on pole. But Lewis Hamilton, Paul Vettel second, Rosberg third, Alonso, Weber, and Massa fourth, fifth, and sixth. But we're starting at the back of the grid, driving as Jensen Button, and hopefully we can get ourselves into the points in this 20 lap, 20%, 25% Grand Prix. So, as I said, then Lewis Hamilton will be on pole position in the Mercedes. His first year in this car. Our teammate Sergio Perez still on the grid in real life in eight. But we are going to try and get into the points from last on the grid. We've got realistic damage onto this game. So, there could be a whole heap of accidents at the start of this race. We've got to keep our eyes open for that. But the lights are out. And let's get racing then. We are 20 seconds and how many positions can we make up into turn one? No damage I've seen as of yet, but we're just going to slowly negotiate our way around turn one. No one we picked off just yet. There's Shao Peak. Oh, damage. Shao Peak, we've got first up to try and negotiate. We'll go around the outside of him and of Max Chilton as well. And we've been able to get to two positions there. Down the inside of both the rushes now on the exit of that corner. And now down the inside of a few more drivers. As there's a Williams there. Bottas that's lost his front wing completely. We've got someone trying to go around our outside now. But we are up into 17th place. And we're going to try and negotiate ourselves past Valtteri Bottas. We've done it. Guido van der Gaard is trying to overtake him as well. But... That's a good start for us up into 16th place already. More damage on the exit of this corner as Daniel Ricciardo is our next target. A lot of drivers from the 2012 um, game have changed. Danny inside of Ricciardo into this corner. We weren't expecting it. There's this damage on Deresta's car that he was dragging along. We've got past Ricciardo. We can't sneak past Deresta just yet but it was a good little overtake and oh my goodness me there is so many cars that are just slowing down on the apex of corners due to damage and we're going to try and overtake three cars here we have Sutil must be someone with damage as well as Hulkenberg yeah but he's got no front wing either we're going to go around the outside of him and we are up into 10th place the AI on realistic, da realistic damage just can't handle it at the minute every driver still on the on the track but we are up into 10th place. We're locking up into that corner as I try and get used to the the handling model. Talking and, and driving this track is so difficult as well. If I decide to do a career mode on this, then I'm going to try and get used to that. Gutierrez in the Salva is the next car that is up ahead into the braking zone here. And then we've got really able just to push the car through. When you hook this track up it really is brilliant and I am on a wheel as well so it is really really fun and exciting as we are catching up to the back of Esteban Gutierrez here hopefully with the curves we can maybe get past him safety car is on but we should be faster than this Salva as we come on the exit of that corner rich mixture using the curves can we find a way past the Mexican DRS enabled for lap three can't get past him just yet and as I say a lot of drivers will have this issue in this game to try and overtake let's see if we go around the outside of Gutierrez here there's opportunity that's arisen and we've done it oh Gutierrez has hit the barrier there was no contact made 
but he's understeered into the wall it looked like however we've gained a place and we are up into P9 what a great start and next up is Perez who seems like then he's held position from the start of the race he's got a massive gap though to the top seven that are really really far ahead so let's see if we could catch up to him very quickly love that section there you're able to, to take a lot of time out of the, uh, the other drivers flying through this swimming pool section second gear here just brushing against the barriers has Perez got some damage maybe because he seems to be going a little bit slowly either that or I'm just going really quickly I don't know which one it is as the back end we lose out the final corner and we have lost the driver as well down to 21 drivers next three laps the rest will be pitting who's in 10 the big thing in this game as well again in comparison to 2012 is tight scaling is a big factor so we'll have that which means we take a lot more damage out of the tyres purple sector one which is good to see shows we have got pace in this McLaren McLaren this is probably the start of their decline in 2013 they didn't win any Grand Prix and I don't think oh they may have got one podium I can't remember where though but of course this was the season where Perez who joined in 2013 was sacked the year after that but still on the grid the Mexican driver in the fastest car in real life as we are right onto the back of Sergio Perez could we make an overtake into this section probably not but we are really closing in on him don't want to hit the barrier otherwise it could be race over we are purple in sector two as well can we go around the outside of him here no we can't into the final corner AI still we are behind Sergio Perez AI we can't do any um that's a shame rather we can't do any multi 21 orders in this game we're really really close to the back of Perez now though can we go down his inside into this casino part yes we can great overtake and we have got the position on the Mexican driver which is brilliant to see and Grosjean in seventh who is the next car ahead the engineer confirms he has a bit of front wing damage which doesn't surprise me and it, but has surprised me is the fact that I've been able to go five laps without getting a hint of damage on my first race back on this game through this next part really really good that's very very fast indeed as we come through this part of fourth gear really attack the kerb well he's not kerb there but attacking and getting close as you can to the barrier as you dare purple still first gear for Raskas nicely done around the final corner can never manage to hit that apex I always seem to understeer into it but around the final corner is it going to be a purple lap time it is we are the fastest car out on track it would be delightful if we could do some form of last to first but we are here at the minute six laps in the gap of 3.9 to Roman Grosjean as we continue to push is it a purple sector on again it is brilliant gap is two and a half seconds to Grosjean if you're up to this stage put your prediction in the chat where do you think we are going to finish I say maybe we could sneak top six it would be difficult to get but let's hope we could as we use a bit of rich through the bridge the tunnel section sorry oh there we go that's nicely done really closing in on the back of Grosjean hopefully by the end of the next lap we could be right onto his tail the damage seemingly affecting the Frenchman 1.4 seconds gap I don't think we're going to get DRS then on this lap there we go no no DRS just yet use the final bit of curves and come across the line the tyre is starting to wear uh, ever so slightly I have a habit of cutting turn one as well I've got to try and stop that otherwise I'll start to get warnings fourth gear here being used there we go look at the speed you can take through that it really is a great track this 
first gear being used very well right onto the back of Roman could we maybe do something coming out the tunnel let's have a look it's a good exit bit of rich mixture finding different ways to try and overtake people on this circuit could we get one here Grosjean can we go down the inside of him he's going defensive we're going to try it Ooh, we tried it he's gone a bit wide though and we've managed to do it we've knocked Grosjean sort of Oh, knocked his path, so nearly understeer there, into the barrier. Knocked his path, and it just helped us to get past him. It was like, whoops, it is. There goes a, a barrier. Just got to try and regain focus. This has been a bit of a scrappy final sector. Here we go, let's see. Lap 8, it's supposed to be the lap time. The lap, sorry, where we're going to pit. I'm just going to see maybe if we could do one more lap on them. Go to lap 9, because the fronts look okay. It would mean then we could get more out of the prime tyres towards the end that we could push if we were trying to catch someone. I still think we can set good times as Massa is next up and then I think it is the Lotus of Kimi Raikkonen that's occupying fifth. There we go, nicely done. Around there, use a bit more curves into rich and again this is the corners where we need to try and gain time out of these bit more damage on that chicane we're right onto the back oh Felipe Massa there's lots of damage here lots of damage indeed whoa there's been, a, there's been an accident there's been an accident I'm trying to get past Massa we have there's 19 cars left we've got past Massa and I think someone else there I didn't quite catch it as there's AI that had just sat on the apex as these this, this isn't good we've gone very wide oh my goodness me everyone sort of in this last sector up to third as there's people pitting and we've got Mark Webber that's ahead I don't know where Raikkonen's gone and all that whether he was involved in the accident but there was a huge almost confetti like debris on the swimming pool part and now we've got Mark Webber who I know we are definitely 100% racing. The stewards have decided not to pilot the safety car. Oh, they ha wow, that was strange. It almost like they heard me. Safety car's out. I like, honestly can swear to you that was not planned when I said the AI yeah, have decided not to pilot the safety car, but they have. And a safety car has been deployed, but apparently we're still going at quite a speed here, me and Mark Webber, which can only be beneficial to our race. I've got a bit wide there. Here we go, the AI now start to cut out my engine a little bit. And this is where the damage was down to 18 drivers now on track. Whoops, cutting that corner accidentally. It means now we can definitely get a lot of time out of these prime tyres as we're going to be behind. Safety car, I don't think Weber's got any damage. Hamilton still leads. Can we get the jump on Weber? Down to 17 drivers now. The AI are dropping like flies due to this realistic damage mod. I think we definitely will have to turn it down if we decide to do a career mod on this track. As uh, we come out onto the grid, we are fifth place. Weber in four, but oh, there we go. That's very, very good to see. But we are ahead of Sebastian Vettel then. And we've only got four more drivers then between ourselves and what would be an unbelievable race win in the Monaco Grand Prix. City car will probably come out, probably come back in maybe at the, the end of lap 11 or lap 12. Can't imagine it will stay out much longer than that. But it just adds a total different spice to this race now as Perez seems to be involved in this safety car train. I wonder whether or not he's maybe been lapped or he's not pitted. You can see a Williams of I think it's Bottas. So this is going to just create even more anarchy then as the AI will have to give us position when the race restarts. Down now to 16 drivers in this Grand Prix. Ooh. As uh, Weber nearly went into the barrier there. 
the Mercedes up ahead as well but very important now that we just try and keep these tyres in the operating window oh no Perez is fifth so he has pitted he was in a good position and Vettel gets the jump on the Mexican driver lap 11 so apart from I think it's a Williams I think everyone else is there on position could be a Mercedes 1-2 from the looks of that Weber third Button fourth and Vettel in P5 wonder where you think we'll finish now then if anything could happen we could still retire from this Grand Prix just don't know what to expect in the world of Formula 1 as we'll continue now to warm up these tyres I wonder if the Certi car will come in at the end of this lap definitely one of my favourite F1 games this I know obviously the 2012 save we were going to do until the profile crash but this was this was my favourite if you ask me which Formula 1 game do I love the most it would, it would be this one I remember playing this as a child and absolutely loving it spent hours on this game and I continue to do it now um, for you guys hopefully safe car in safe car will come in then at the end of this lap so it's vitally important that we get these tyres up to temperature especially the rear tyres that's proving most difficult so we'll have to be very cautious I think coming out of corners the fronts aren't too bad hopefully we can spin them up when we get back to green flag racing then to get close possible to the back of Mark Webber here we go and you can see the Williams driver that is letting people through and it looks like we're going to, to negotiate our way past Valtteri Bottas as the race starts now Weber third, Hamilton first, it goes then to Mercedes, Weber, Button, Vettel here we go then through the casino park everyone's got lovely fresh sets of compounds we're going to try and move actually we're going to try and go down the inside of Weber, which means we've got the outside for the hairpin Ooh. I felt a bit of contact while well, we did that, but what a move. We've got past Mark Webber. More blue flags. I think that'll be for, um, for Bottas still. But we're up to third, and it's only the two Mercedes to try and negotiate our way past with eight laps remaining. Can we do it? Could we win the Monaco Grand Prix? Hamilton on pole position. He's flying. And it's Rosberg. Here we'll have to try and get past first. These Mercedes cars are one of the quickest cars in this season, as well as the uh, the red bump. We start lap 13. The gap to Rosberg for less than a second. So whenever DRS is enabled, which I think will be next lap, we should be able to use that to our advantage through this section oh we fly through there we really really do we're purple in sector one a bit wide through there and through the hairpin now lost hairpin still remaining very tightly on the back of the Mercedes car and here we go rich and a bit of curse to boot No, no. Oh goodness me! We're side by side with Nico Rosberg. I was listening to the engineer there speaking about a bit of damage to someone. We've got past him. Uh, very difficult to really describe that, but he went a bit wide, and I had to catch the car, and we've done it. And there's only one person left between ourselves winning this Grand Prix, and it is going to be Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes. Three quarters in to the race now and it's vitally important that we just continue this pace purple sector and it's three second gap now to Lewis Hamilton we really are a man on a mission in the final quarter of this race into the tunnel section Rosberg still with us 
but we are definitely quicker, I believe, than Lewis Hamilton. That's ahead, and this is where we'll hopefully eat the time up through this very, very fast section of the circuit. Very close. That barrier practically brushing the barriers. Look at that, 2.2 seconds now. Purple again. And around the final corner then. Here we go. Curse. All used the 13. 13. One engineer confirming that it is now DRS enabled. The final few laps. We've been one of the fastest cars, if not the fastest, during the weekend. And it would be brilliant if we could end this now with a phenomenal last to first victory. Should we make sure that we keep it out of the barriers and it's proving difficult. And it's going to be even more difficult the more we get into this race. Use half the curves up. Can we gain more time now on Lewis Hamilton? Second gear, not a lot. Still see Rosberg, he's still there. But it is the former two McLaren teammates that will be fighting for this lead. One second gap, it could be DRS for us. On this lap, is it going to be? It's not. It's no DRS, I thought it may have been, but it's not. Ooh, goodness me, that was scary. We locked up into turn one. Tyres wearing. You can see the line on the front left, which indicates that we are starting to just lose a little bit of grip. Look at that, flying through that section. Just love this circuit when you nail it. Into Laws. Now through the tunnel. Using rich mixture. Got two laps still to burn off. We need to gain a lot of time here. Can we do it? Breaking second gear, hit the first of it, hit the second apex. That's clean. That was very, very clean. Right on the money for that. And could we do it? Get through the chicane. Do and through Raskas and onto the final corner ooh we'll just here again We've got DRS this time watch the barrier it's just very snaky exits We're getting slower these lap times let's put it into Rich let's just go for it let's just go for it we'll use half battery occurs even if it kills us Can we get him maybe down the inside of this corner? Let's go for it. Down the inside of Lewis Hamilton. Oh, it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Into the hairpin. First gear will give him the space. We're side by side. Oh, Hamilton's kept the place. Great racing. Great racing from Sir Lewis Hamilton. In this robbery. Oh, we can't do it. Lap 17 out of 20. And Lewis Hamilton showing why he is. One of the best drivers in the world, and I'm struggling to get past him now. Rosberg, the car behind's got damage, but we're just focusing on the car ahead as the damage. No damage there to to hitting the barrier. Let's just keep the car firmly behind Lewis Hamilton. Ooh, 15 drivers left now. And Hamilton's getting a bit of time on us here, but we need to have a good first corner. Right, let's go. I think we we'll just keep it in rich mixture now, just to see if we can overtake him. We're faster than him in sector one, definitely. And corners like that prove it, where we just are able to, to eat a lot of time out of him. Oh no, we've got back markers coming up as well. And it will be difficult to pass. Go. Let's 
still very close to his rear end. We come through this section. What is the Marussia doing? Of Max Chilton. We've had a good exit. Oh, but it's still not going to be enough. But that corner, Hamilton very slow. On the racing line. We're going to try and go down his inside. We're going to turn it to the outside. Oh, no. Are you all right? Engine off, engine oh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We're out. We're out. Then we need to take a look at a replay of this. We have gone through. Hamilton's gone wide. Hamilton's gone off the circuit, having to avoid the barrier. But as he's done that, he's returned to the racing line. We've hit him. And he's so lucky to have not received any damage. Yet the slightest bit of contact has meant that we've thrown away this Grand Prix. And we've finished about 13th. 15th in fact. I can't believe it ended like that. Such a shame. Rosberg has won. Hamilton got a 20 second penalty. I'm assuming that's for our incident. Can we take a look at that? Oh, it doesn't say. He received a 20 second penalty, so he's not won. He's fourth. Rosberg has won. Weber and Vettel completing the podium. Hamilton finishing fourth with our teammate fifth. Raikkonen in sixth. Maldonado getting a brilliant seventh. Hulkenberg in and the two Caterham cars getting ninth place and tenth place. Chilton just missing out on points as well as Jean-Eric Verne. But look at these DNFs. Gutierrez, Bianchi, both Ferraris, both Force Indias, the Lotus of Grosjean. And unfortunately, we're out having finished 15th place. I hope you enjoyed that because I certainly enjoyed that Grand Prix. And if you want more content on this game then you've got to hit the like button to show me that you really want it and if you do then we may just do a career mode fingers crossed that the profile doesn't crash and prevent us from doing it but thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode the next video very very soon take care guys bye, -bye.